I think underneath the eyes, like tear trap area, was pretty painful. But you go so superficial there. Why does it hurt? I guess I'm just sensitive guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to increase the depth on Marco next time. Marco's happy. He had the same as you, bro. Okay, Marco, so we're done. How does it feel? I'm trying to close my eyes and imagine a waterfall on my face. Yeah, you're a little bit red. it's burning. Yeah. <laughs> burning sensation. Would be better soon. Was it a painful treatment? I think that was the... Maybe the most painful one. Come on, Marco. <laughs> you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> No, that was the, the, it wasn't too bad actually, but, Good. It, but it's we more painful than Botox, definitely. No, it's not. Yeah. I think Botox worse. It depends on. But you do look good. This would be perfect. A little bit red. Or quite a lot. Really? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm headed to uh, BTS, which is a big, or Scandinavia's biggest aesthetic medicine congress, uh, run by Akademik Nikem. Uh, on today's schedule, I think I'm just gonna register and say hello to all our uh, suppliers, and then tomorrow I'll stop by and check out the symposiums they have to see what's new in the market uh, and mingle a little bit with friends and colleagues uh, yeah that would be it it's held here at Stockholm waterfront and uh, if it's possible I'll show you some inside looks and by the way Excuse my messy hair. I'll be riding to work when it's glorious weather like today. All right, see you guys later. So here we are. A lot of suppliers. Andreas, they want to demonstrate this one. Safety of course, procedure. Of course. So this little thing holds the, the needle holder. So when you are ha already have injected, you can just safely put it back again. Yeah, so you don't have to put arm no, exactly. you don't, against you, you arm. You don't risk to, to uh, stab yourself. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have to change needle all the time. Perfect. Nice. And the invisible needle. And a new one for uh, updragging. How do you say that in English? It's <laughs> <laughs> on my face, I don't know either. Yeah, we'll get back to you on that one. Antimicrobial ice mask. It's a mask that you can put on the face of the client before or after the injection. It has an antimicrobial agent and a cooling agent. With the antimicrobial you can disinfect the face and with the cooling agent you can reduce swelling or reduce sensitivity of the skin. It's a mask with a cloth and a fluid around it in a capsule. Once you press it, the cloth fills itself with the fluid and pops up by itself. Nice. So you take it out, you unfold it. And here's the mask and you place it on the face of the patient for at least five minutes because within the five minutes the ingredients interact with each other and that makes the temperature drop so it's an interaction of the product so you don't need to have to put it in the fridge to be cool it gets cool out of itself and will uh, yeah, see yeah. the dropping temperature in about five minutes All so right. this, this is when it starts I'll let you feel it so what I do now is sort of speed up the process of the interaction of the uh, ingredients so you can have a second feel and feel that it's actually getting cooler <laughs> okay yeah. 
Oh, so it's uh, gradually getting colder yeah. and colder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cold enough. Yeah, so if you do it before the injection, then uh, you can do it to disinfect the face and uh, reduce sensitivity because the temperature drops. Yeah. If you do it after the treatment, then you disinfect the injection points and you reduce the, the redness and the swelling. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, shapers. So I just came back home. Uh, after the BTS and just wanted to give you a short briefing um, if you didn't know I love gadgets so I spent most of my time out with the distributors did listening to one of the presentations but mostly I spent time with the distributors out there I spent some time with TSK which had some uh, new things to present which was interesting and which you you saw in the video and but most of my time I spent with next motion which I think will bring our um, imagery to the next level and uh, yeah announcing now that we actually acquired next motion and uh, hoping that um, the imagery will be on another level entirely uh, it's really interesting to see how how they have evolved everything from from the iPhone that you can take 3D images. Um, you see ghost pictures of yourself before and after. So you know the position of the face will be exactly the same on the before picture as the after, and so on. So um, hopefully next year I'll have more time because this time I I just went for the last day. I was there, I was there for like hour hour and a half. Uh, but next time BTS I, I'll try to make sure that I have more time and actually see all the lecturers and everything else uh, but yeah it yielded in a, uh, acquiring a new uh, image system which is awesome and, and uh, look forward to see what you have in store for us next year all right bye